All right, everybody. So today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up Fantasy Star Online multiplayer on any Android device. It does not need to be rooted or anything. It can be any Android device. As long as your phone's able to run it, yeah, you can play it. All right. Um, oh, yeah, you need mobile data or Wi-Fi connection. So, But you don't need to port any... Data, I mean, I open any ports or anything like that, so whatever. So, anyways, let's get to it. Go ahead, open the Play Store, type in Raycast. Raycast will come up, install it, and open it. Now, you're done for right now. Go ahead and close it. All right. So, now we're gonna go ahead and download the two links from the Dropbox in uh, my Dropbox down below, which is gonna be the Fantasy Star Online version two and Quake 3 Arena. All right, now once you get those downloaded, go ahead and open up Raycast again. Go ahead, go to settings. Go down to current location, all right. Now we're gonna go to add. Now go to wherever you downloaded those at and select the cat the current directory and then go to controller now if you have a bluetooth controller you can play it right out of the box all right so what you want to do is go down and you might have it like this right now we'll go ahead and hit physical devices and yes your your controller has to be connected before you open it up all right so go ahead and select virtual gamepad none and virtual none and ui and put you input uh put it to whatever you want it doesn't matter but whatever you're not going to use and then synaptics synap synaptics and gpi gpio keys i can't even talk right now and whatever device you have um connected put them all on a all right, it's not that difficult, and whatever sensitivity you want. Now, as you see, device A, B, C, and D. Your device A is going to be the Sega controller, and you're done. Done. And your ROM should show up. Now, we're going to show you exactly how to set up your internet connection if you don't have the web browser or extra replay, all that other stuff. You don't need any of that to do this. All right, just right out of the box. Download those two games and open up Quake 3 Arena. Ooh, sorry for that noise. I'm moving my phone. Once the game loads, go to internet game. Okay, username and password is gonna be can C A N. All right, the primary DNS and secondary DNS is going to be 255.255.255.0. All right, no outside line prefix and no call waiting prefix. Long distance prefix is one. No local, no local area code. Phone number is going to be 666. Digital local area code is off. Pulse dialing is off. Don't worry about the summary dial. Go ahead and hit dial. This is going to take about a minute and... As you see, it's connecting, dialing, logging in, configuring. So it's connected now, but we're going to wait until it actually looks for a game. It's not going to find a game, but we're going to wait for it to, just so it can save everything. And it gives you the option to back out. Like I said, it's going to take a little, little bit.
And now, once it's done fighting, I mean, looking for a game, and it says, cannot, no response from master server. Okay, that's what we want. All right, go ahead, and now, back out. Oh, wrong controller. Uh -huh. Go ahead and back out. I did not want to back out like that. Go ahead the back button and exit. Now go ahead and go to Ivy's PSO version 2, US R2 CDI. And now this is where the fun comes in. You're already done setting up your internet. Everything is good. Now you can go play any game you want online. Is you're gonna get a pen and paper or a textbook text pad notepad notepad plus 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 whatever whatever you want to use to write down this number or the serial number and access key right there those ones the 4e 62 f 237 write those down and save them all right now back to the guy. Exactly where the, where where it goes from. All right.
I'm playing. 